we're asked to compare 156.378 to 156.348. So I assume that they are trying to, they're asking us which of these is greater. And so let's rewrite these numbers. 156.378, and we want to compare that to 156. 0.348, and it might already be obvious to you which of these is greater, but I'll work through it step by step just in case it's not. So let's first go to the hundreds place, and you could view this as, to some degree, the most significant place, because this is where the, you have the largest. You know, the one in the hundreds place represents a lot more than a one in the in the tens place or one in the sixes place. A one in a hundreds place represents 100. It's this many hundreds. But we have the same number of hundreds in both situations. We have 100 and we have 100. Let's go to the tens place. We have five tens here, which is 50, and we have 50 right over here. So so far, so they're 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 equal. So far, if you just look at the hundreds and the tens place. Let's go to the ones place. We have a six here in the ones place, six ones, which is really just six, and you also have six ones. So so far, they're equal again. Let's go to the tenths place. Three tenths, three tenths. Let's go to the hundredths place. So we're going into smaller and smaller places. So then you have the seven hundredths. We have seven hundredths here. Now we have four hundredths here. So this has less hundredths than this does over here. And if we go to the thousandths place, these are equal. But it doesn't matter even if these were unequal. It doesn't matter even if this part was this one was larger than this one. Because in the more significant place, this number was larger than this number. So seven is greater than four. We have seven. Seven hundredths here, we have four hundredths here. So we get this number is greater than this number down here. Or 156.378 is greater than 156.348. And in particular, it's because of the hundredths place.